Hi everyone, I am Dr. Prudviraj, Consultant Endocrinologist and Diabetologist at Arit Hospital, Gachibowli, Hyderabad. Ramadan month has been started and it is a very divine fasting ritual for our Muslim brothers and sisters. Diabetic patients who want to follow this fasting ritual has to follow certain instructions and guidelines for their own safety. Diabetic patients who want to start this fasting has to consult their doctor before starting this fasting ritual. And based on your uh, other comorbidities and glycemic control that is HbA1c and many other parameters your doctor will assess your risk category and keep you uh, under either high risk or moderate risk or very low risk if you fall under the high risk category the doctor may suggest against the fasting ritual and if you are under the low risk or moderate risk you have to follow certain instructions to do this Ramadan fasting so what are the instructions and guidelines you have to follow during this fasting ritual one thing is you have to break the fast if your blood sugar is less than 70 milligrams per deciliter you have to break the fast if your blood sugar is more than 300 milligram per deciliter for your own safety so how many times you have to check your blood sugars during this fasting ritual at least seven times in a day you have to check your blood sugars during this fasting ritual once before your uh, first meal of the day that is pre suhur you have to check your blood sugars and again after two hours after pre suhur you have to check the blood sugars and again in the mid morning at 10 to 11 am you have to check your blood sugars and again in the 1 pm or 2 pm you have to check the blood sugars and again pre iftar and two hours post iftar you have to check your blood sugars and if your blood sugars as I mentioned if it is less than 70 or more than 300 milligrams per deciliter you have to discontinue your fasting for your own safety and again during your fasting ritual there are certain medications which can cause very low blood sugars for you especially insulin and sulfonylureas the timing of these medications and insulin will be modified by your doctor according to your previous glycemic control and at your risk of developing hypoglycemia during this fasting period two things are very much important one thing i mentioned is monitoring your blood sugar seven times in a day and the second thing is keeping a tab on your medication you are taking and changing according to your blood sugars thank you very much